I want to do um listen there's no joke there's no shame um like them say the coronavirus is out you know what I mean them say coronavirus is out all right but then again peeps uh, feel like more and sit down you know feel like more and sit down yeah, feel like my want to sit up and do this shit. All right, about the coronavirus. Yeah, let me get to understand. You see, I cock up my foot. Let me get to understand. Let me get to understand the coronavirus. Them said the coronavirus reached Jamaica today. You know what I mean? It's in another Caribbean country, the old nine yeah, but it kind of sad, eh? kind of fucked up, kind of funny. Me, you know me here, you know what I mean? My face sorry for the kids them, and the older folks them, because normally when things like this happen in Jamaica, normally kids them catch it, and the elder person them, and if anybody's immune system is weak, to me, 100% I'm going to catch it. We have to be careful who we touch, who we hug. Yeah, well, I don't even know what to say, but all we can do is pray. Sorry, all we can do is stay prayed up. You know what I mean? Stay prayed up. Just come in and sanitize my hand. I will go buy up line cell and all of them things there. All to make you do a prayer. But right now, with this corona, I want to buy a six pack of blood clot corona beer and drink and tell that fuck to stay the fuck away from me. I drink corona beer. I'm not supposed to catch corona. It's a liquor. So, I went by a six pack of Corona and said, Cheers, you ain't coming fucking near me, bitch, nigga. But anyway, God is a living true testimony. God is a living true testimony. God is real, people. God is real. I'm not supposed to be here today. My house almost get caught with a blazing fire. But I thank God this morning my mother carried her father gone out public about 6.30 to 7, 7 o'clock. But somewhere in between there. And I was in my sleep about after 9 going up to 10. And I smell something burning. I keep on smelling it, smelling it, and the scent gets stronger and stronger. And for some strange reason, I jump up out of my sleep. And so I jump up out of my sleep. I went straight into the kitchen. Listen, I was in my sleep when I smelled something burning like smoke, fire, electrical burn, burn scent. And I jumped from my sleep. I didn't check in my room to see if it, the smoke, the burning, smell is coming from my room i just jumped out my sleep and i went straight into the kitchen when i went into the kitchen there was a teapot on the stove with blazing fire underneath it the gas turned out the fire turned right out i actually hold the pot cover by my hand 
and flush it off when we're looking at the pot then we take it up and it burn me and it will burn me for quite a while I want to open that pot the tea bag burnt to ashes the tea bag in the pot burnt to ashes the tea is a full pot of tea i don't know if it had sweetened with milk if it had sweetened with sugar but all i know the mark up at the top at the pot let me know there was a pot of tea probably she just put the tea bag in there with the water to make the tea but apparently when she took her dad to the hospital apparently she thought she had turned off the stove and when i went there the tea bag is ashes with the fire turned right out and the funny thing about it the pot cup the pot is not burnt meaning black 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 i know when fire touch metal and i did the fire burn for a long while the pot become black the pot is shine and pretty just the same the pot didn't burn it didn't black none whatsoever And when I opened the back door for the smoke to come out and the scent, it was still strong inside the house. Everywhere you go, you could have smelled it. And I opened the front door and I pray. And I said, Thank you, Lord. Who could it be but you? If I never jump from my sleep, or I should say, if God never had jumped me out of my sleep or touched me out of my sleep, the place would have blown up. I would fried. I would be dead in my sleep. Maybe, maybe not. But I mean, if that fire was there more, that cylinder, that gas cylinder would have exploded. Maybe I would dead, maybe I would not. And I want to thank God. I'm not supposed to die like that. I'm not supposed to die like that. It's not my time. It's not my time. It's like, I'm not even cry, I'm not even shed a tear. When I'm just praying and be thankful. Honestly speaking, you know, when my mother called me, when she realized she didn't turn the stove off, it was exactly 12.29, one minute to 12.30. You know, the midday, that's when my mother called me, 12.29 exactly. I'm hearing she called me and said, Didn't me left her asleep? She's supposed to asleep. And when she asked me if my lock of the stove, I said, Mommy, yeah. She said, should I make sure that I make tea for me in case I wake up. When I wake up, I have tea for drink. But she thought she had turned it off. What if I wasn't home? What if I wasn't home? Maybe the place would have burned down. Some part of it. But I know the cylinder would have explode. God have a purpose for each and every one of us. And I'm my time for dead. 
I'm always tell people that it's not my time. And not my time for dead. Nah. And then as I go outside, one of my friends I go through something. You know what I mean? She and her family. And I say, yo, just look on it on the brighter side. You are here right now. You know they're behind bars. At least if you did it behind bars, behind in a jail or prison, at least you would be alive. I could have died. I could have died if I never wake up from jump up from my sleep. If I was still sleeping, that cylinder would have exploded. God is so good. God is so good. All we have to do is just pray about this coronavirus. You know what I mean? Do what we have to do. The necessities. The necessities. For preventing from getting it. You know what I mean? God is good. Y'all have a good night.